Hello everyone, we are occupational therapy assistant students at MCC and we are bringing you an activity that will help your child explore with their senses. You're probably already familiar with the five senses uh, which are seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, and smelling. However, there's actually a couple that are a little lesser known. The first one I wanted to talk about today is proprioception which is how our body knows where our arms and legs are in space. Our brain figures this out through pressure on our joints, whether we're moving or standing. The other one is vestibular awareness, which is our brain's way of knowing when we're moving and sitting still and to help keep us balanced. Our activity uses many of these different senses and all you need to do it are a white crayon, a white piece of paper, watercolor paint, a cup of water, or a spray bottle with some water. Hi, I'm Ramey. I'm an OTA student in McHenry County, and we're gonna do some painting with um, white paper. I have a trace out star, or you could even use any cookie cutter. I have my white crayon different types of paint brushes. I have my paint, water, or spray. So, so you wanna trace the star with a white crayon, or you can draw anything out, anything that they would like with a white crayon on the paper. And with me tracing the star, then I'm gonna color in the star the area that I that I'm drawing, I want to make it white. Uh, I'm also going to try to use the cookie cutter, trace it. Put the brush in the water. I'm going to put the color. and green and purple. You just paint the whole paper or you can spray some water and then pick the color that you want and apply the paint on where you spray and the color should come onto the paper. See? And here is the final project. You have the stars that's white and I did some circles and you can see that some of the color is not on the crayon that you that you that are not on the some of the paint color is not on the crayon. So I hope you guys enjoy this art project at home. Hello, my name is Kali. I am um, an OTA student at McHenry County College and I'm going to talk about some of the sensory input that is incorporated into the project that you saw previously. So the first input I'm gonna talk about is proprioception. So that has to do with the input to your joints. So when the kids are drawing with the white crayon and they're really pushing down with their wrist, that provides like pressure to their wrist joints and the joints in their fingers. So that provides the um, proprioception, proprioception aspect of this sensory um, integration. And then the next sensory input I'm gonna talk about is visual. So that is what you can see. So the paint colors that they choose are um, a visual aspect. They can choose whatever color they want. And then when they, put the, um, when they put the paint over the white that they drew on the on the picture, they can kind of watch that white appear once they put the paint over it. So that's another visual aspect. Um, they can just, it's kind of cool to watch that so that definitely provides some input to their visual senses and then also when you spray this water you can't really see in the video but I'm gonna just spray it on anyways right when you spray it on it has kind of a shiny look to it it's hard to see in the video but that is another visual aspect of this project because it kind of looks shiny and 
then when it dries, um, it doesn't look shiny anymore. It has more like of a like dry look to it. So those are the visual aspects of this project. And then the last sensory input I'm going to talk about is tactile. So that is what you can touch. So um, when you spray water onto the paper, it kind of has like a wet feeling to it. So that is definitely um, provides an input to their tactile senses. And um, and then when the when the water dries, it the paper has more of a smooth feel to it. So those are the different sensory inputs that are in, incorporated into this project. So again, it was proprioception, which is the input to the joints, visual, which is what you can see, and then tactile, which is what you can touch and feel. Hi, I'm gonna discuss a couple ways to make this project a little bit more challenging or a little bit easier depending on the child and their abilities with their senses. One way we can make it easier for a child is if they want to use a cup of water rather than using the spray bottle, it will make it easier for the child to then put the paint, to make it easier for the paint beyond the paper. Two ways to make it a little bit more challenging for the child is if they want to use the spray bottle, considering how cool it is for some, you can help them put their fingers onto the spray bottle the correct way and have them do it themselves. This way, they are able to use their proprioception to put input into the spray bottle as they're squeezing it. Another way that you can make this a little bit more challenging for them is instead of having them scribbling or drawing random things, we can also have them try to learn how to draw shape on there, such as recognizing what a triangle is compared to a square, compared to a circle, and seeing if they can actually do it and then have them continue on with the project from there. And then they'll get to see how awesome that their drawings ended up becoming. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm going to explain in some ways to adapt the activity. One way is to give a child who is newer to holding a crayon, a larger crayon versus the generic small one. By giving the child a larger crayon, it will help them increase fine motor skills. As the child gets efficient, with the larger crayon, you can move to a smaller one and add a grip to help adapt to using a smaller crayon. The person who is assisting the child can also use hand-over-hand assistance while coloring with the white crayon. <laughs>